After getting over 6,000 entries for my Plan B skateboard deck, wheels, and grip tape giveaway, I am happy to congratulate Cruz as our winner. Now, a lot of you guys are asking for more giveaways, so if you want to see more of these, let me know down below, and hopefully I can make this a more recurring thing. Hey, what's up guys, Zach here. Welcome back to another Skate 3 video. So today, I had a really wacky idea for a video. Basically, I'm sure some of you guys have seen in my recent videos, I do the insane speed glitch. But for those of you who don't, I'll do it right now real quick. Boom, there we go. As you can see, you go very fast when you use this insane speed glitch. And I've made a lot of videos using it. And today, it got me thinking, how fast are we really going when we're doing that insane speed glitch. Now there's nothing in the game that tells you how fast you're going, unfortunately, there's no like speed option to look at. So we're gonna have to do some math. I know guys, I graduated high school in June and I thought I would never have to do math or science ever again, but here we are using math in a skate 3 video. We're gonna use the formula velocity equals distance over time to solve how fast we're going. Basically what that means for those of you who don't know is we're gonna figure out how far we go and how long it takes us to go that far and we can use that data to calculate how fast we're going in miles per hour and I guess also in kilometers per hour because some of you are European and you guys have like kilo me kilometer ki Kylo, Kylo Ren meters. I don't even know what, I, okay, just use miles. So I think the easiest way to do this would be to calculate the distance from here all the way to the end of this parking lot to this wall. So when I hit the wall doing the speed glitch, and if we can find that distance, we'll easily be able to calculate our speed because we'll know how long it took us to go that far. Now I wanna stress, this is a Skate 3 video. It is supposed to be fun. So we're not gonna be super scientific. It's not gonna be perfect. So I know there's probably some variables I'm not accounting for, but we're gonna do our best and hopefully we can just get a cool number at the end. But John, how are we gonna find the distance from there to there, you may be asking. Well, luckily, Skate 3 has a feature where it tells you how far you manual. That's how I was able to do the 10,000 foot manual. As you can see on the left, once you go far enough, it pops up manual distance. So as long as I manual in a straight line from one end to the other, I will be able to calculate how far this parking lot is, or how long it is, rather. So let's try that. Now, obviously, guys, I'm not going to be able to manual in a perfectly straight line all the way there, so it's gonna be a bit of an estimate uh, but once again, it's just a Skate 3 video, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. So we're going to start the manual right there. We might be like a foot off, but I don't think that's going to make that big of a difference in the end. We're going to have to go back and forth a little bit to make sure we get enough speed. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be about 140 feet, maybe. Let's see. Okay, yeah, well, it's about 141 feet. That's what we'll go with. So from here all the way to the beginning of this uh, asphalt parking lot area is about 141 feet, so let's keep that in mind. Now, as some of you may know, the speed glitch does not shoot you in a perfectly straight line, so I'm gonna have to angle myself a little bit. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too big of an issue. All right, there we go, boom. That was a speed glitch, that's pretty good. If we go into the replay editor, we're gonna be able to calculate how long that actually was. So let's see, is this the one where I did it? All right, so I'm actually gonna pull out my phone and I'm gonna use the stopwatch feature. I think that might be the easiest way. So we're gonna wait till I'm back on the ground. Okay, let me pull it up. So I'm gonna start the stopwatch right when I see myself get on the board and I'm gonna stop it right when I hit the wall. So hopefully I can get this on my first try. Here goes nothing, I suppose. All right, here we go, there we go, and boom. 1.12 seconds, we were flying. So in summary, uh, we traveled 141 feet in 1.12 seconds. So let's do a little bit of math and make that a more understandable number. Just using a basic calculator, we can do 141 feet divided by 1.12 seconds. That gives us a speed of 125.89 feet every second. We're going pretty fast is what that says, but 125 feet per second doesn't really paint the full picture for those of you who are more familiar with miles per hour or kilometers per hour. So we're gonna do a little more math here. We know that there's 5,280 feet in one mile. So if I divide 126-ish by 5,280, we go 0.0238 miles every second. So then all we have to do now is we have to multiply that second by 60 seconds to get one minute. And then if we multiply that number by 60 minutes, we can get an hour and boom, we are going 85. 5.84 miles 
per hour. That is insanely fast. The highway speed limits are usually around 65 to 70. So if we were on a highway doing the insane speed glitch, we would actually be breaking the law. That's awesome. Sometimes math and science comes together to bring some awesome things. But hold on, let me figure this out in kilometers per hour. I'm just going to use a converter because I don't want to do all that math over again. Okay, so for those of you that use the metric system, first off, you're wrong. Second off, uh, it's 138 kilometers per hour. Now that sounds really fast to me, but I obviously I'm not very familiar with kilometers per hour, but all I know is that that's really fast. There we have it. We go 86 miles per hour or 138 kilometers per hour when we're doing the insane speed glitch, but that's not the only way to calculate it. So I'm going to try to do one more way for you guys that might be a little bit uh, more or less accurate. I actually don't really know. But if we manual a very short distance while we're doing the speed glitch, and I can find the precise moments we started and stopped the manual, we'll actually have an exact distance and an exact time, and it won't be as much of an estimate. So we're going to try that quickly. I don't know how it's going to go, but hopefully we get around 85 miles per hour again so that I know my first calculation was correct. All right, here we go. Start the manual and end the manual. We went 128 feet. Let me write that down before I forget it. 128 feet in the manual. Let's go into the replay editor real quick, and we can calculate how long I was in that manual for. So I'm going to try to find the exact moment the manual starts. It looks like it starts right there. So let's see, right there. So we're going to start right there. I'm going to start it, start the video, and then right when all four wheels touch the ground, I'm going to end the stopwatch. So hopefully we get another similar number to that. Hopefully I can do this on my first try and go. Oh wow, that was really quick. I got 0.81 seconds. Now obviously my reaction time might not be perfect, but it was it was pretty close. I did I did the best I could. So I'm going to do the calculation for you guys again really quickly. We went 128 feet, which is about the same length in 0.8 one seconds roughly which means we were going 158 feet per second which is definitely faster than what i calculated earlier so if we do that and then once again we divide by 5280 to get miles per second and then multiply that by 60 multiply that again by 60 108 miles per hour 107.74 miles per hour was how fast we were just going let me convert that for those of you uh who need it that is 173.4 kilometers per hour we actually broke 100 miles per hour on a skateboard in skate 3. now once again this is just a skate 3 video guys it's just for fun i'm not claiming to break any world records or have the complete scientific facts about how fast we were going but that's just a rough estimate and hopefully that gives you guys an idea of how fast we're actually going when we're doing the insane speed glitch which i feature in most of my videos actually so on that note guys i thought this would just be a fun video to do hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to let me know by dropping a like on this video and let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this was kind of a quick video but i think it was a fun one it was definitely a cool one so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up and as always stay sexy see you guys